I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We are at Crossroads Art Center. My name is Jenny Kirby. I'm the owner of Crossroads Art Center, and I am here with David Cheatham. David is the chairman for the exhibition committee for the James River Art League. And that's what we're gonna talk about. The James River Art League has a show at Crossroads Art Center. As you all know, a lot of things are on lockdown and a lot of people aren't leaving the house. So that's why we're doing this interview. So you don't miss what's happening. We are currently open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So you can come in, you can take a look at the show and the other shows that we have. So let's get to David. David is also an artist yes. and he is part of the exhibition. Right. So tell me a little bit about the James River Art League. So James River Art League was started in 1964 and currently we have about 120 uh, exhibiting members. We try to have about 10 shows a year, this being one of them. And during the year, we'll have uh, judge shows um, that we have one coming up in July at uh, the Glen Allen Center. But uh, we also try to have themed shows. And some of our artists love to have themed shows because it gives them an idea of what to paint. Other artists hate theme shows <laughs> because it restricts them on what they can paint. And that's exactly what we find out too at Crossroads <laughs> yeah. when we are getting ready to do a theme show. Everybody's like, no, and then half the people are like, yay. Yeah, yeah. So got it, understand. So we came up with the theme for this one after uh, much discussion and one of our members who uh, uh, likes to do color pencils um, has came up with the idea of doing small things large. And I've told everybody that that's great, that there are no theme police. <laughs> so if you paint something and you can come up with a reason why it's large to you and it was small, then it can go in the show. So that's what we did. And uh, we have a lot of different things that uh, some of them, when you look at it, you'll say, oh, that makes sense. And other things you look at and you'll just scratch your head. Scratch your head go, mm, <laughs> okay, maybe that works with the theme. Yes. Yeah. Well, and that is always trial and error when we do themes as well. Sometimes we've even had to call the artist and give us an explanation <laughs> to be able to know if this can be juried in or not. So okay. great. So you're the police. I am the police at times, but I'm not the police on this one. Not okay. on not on the James River Art League. Well, there are a lot of really wonderful pieces. They go from watercolors to mm -hmm. acrylics to oils to pastels. They go from humorous to more um, personal, like one somebody's grandbaby that we have a beautiful pencil drawing of, I believe it is, or a pastel. Yeah. Um, and then we have a crazy frog, we have marbles, we have the kids playing, and this is Monument Avenue. I know where this is. Uh -huh. This is Monument Avenue during the Easter parade because they always put out the flamingos in their front yard. And that's just a wonderful um, capture that Susan did. So I want to thank you for coming out, yeah. talking about James River Art League, and I'm sure James River Art League has a website. Yes, we do. It's uh, jamesriverartleague.com. That makes it really simple. Yeah. So they, you can go on, you can actually find more things about James River Art League. You can also find out how you might want to join James River Art League. That's great. Which is great, because I know that they are always looking for new members. Is we, there a juring process? This juring process that we have, we're always uh, in the process of figuring out the best way to get new members in uh, so we do have uh, uh, someone in charge of that and if you go on the website or uh, uh, contact us in some other way then we'll get you information that's great and I know this isn't the only um, show that you all do throughout the year no so have, there are numerous ones yes we have, yeah. have about 450 different uh, spots that we have to fill during the year with our 120 members so we we try to require that people show in two different shows. And we go from everywhere from, we used to go up in Ashland and show uh, to Swift Creek Mill Theater. So yes. it, we're, we're all over the place. That's good, good, good spread out. And they, um, James River Art League also has a permanent space with us in building two at Crossroads Arts Center. Yes, and we that's have the another gallery. one, yeah, the gallery we have, space. We have the James River Art League Gallery. And that we rotate uh, every two months, just like you do here. And we uh, have um, five different artists that are able to have a section of the wall showing there. 
So that's uh, in a very good spot over on the way to the main gallery. Yep. So if you were out and about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday, stop by Crossroads Art Center. You can check out their permanent artist and resident resident space for James River Art League. And then you can come into classroom one and you can actually see their show live. And starting on Wednesday by 10 o'clock in the morning, that is our goal, you will actually be able to view and see all these pieces from the James River Art League online and you can also purchase them online. And if you purchase them online and you want them delivered, we will deliver them to you if you are in the area. And that goes for actually every piece of artwork at Crossroads, be it online or in the store. If you don't want to come in and pick it up, we will actually deliver it to you. So I want everybody to stay safe, but you can enjoy art while you're at home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>